Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and today I'm going to be doing my very first vlog. So, first of all, let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and if you guys do like it, I could create lots more as they're pretty quick and, and fun to make. And basically, today's vlog, I am going to be showing you just a day in the life of Inventor719, and I hope you guys enjoy and maybe learn something. Let's get started. So basically, if you don't know much about me, my name is Kyle, not Inventor719, believe it or not. And I'm going to school right now for Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. Um, so that's pretty cool. Not much else to say other than I have a YouTube channel, but you probably already know that. So what else do we have here? This is my apartment, moved into this summer. Um, as you can see, it's not that big. It's not really even my backyard, to tell you the truth. And obviously I can't do much testing out there, so all the outdoor guns and fireworks like the last one I uploaded with the um, matches, that has to be done at my home when I go home on the weekends, because clearly I cannot do it here. So right now it is 9 o'clock, I got up about an hour ago because school doesn't start till 10 today. So far I've had breakfast, nice omelette and cereal, and I'm making my lunch for school because I like to save money. And uh, what did I do? I also this morning changed my beta fish, Orby. Here he is right here. Say hi, Orby. Oh, he's a bit camera shy. Yeah, he's my roommate. But I had to change his cage because his old one over here woke up one morning. Water was up to here. Went all the way down to here. But there wasn't much water on top of my fridge where he stays. But as you can see, there is a crack in the bottom of his tank that was slowly dripping water. And how I found out was by opening the freezer to get orange juice or whatever I was getting. And I found this. It is a big icicle that drips down onto my orange juice container. And so yeah, that's where all his water was going. So clearly I had to change his cage. But he's happy now, aren't you Orby? I think he is. Also, if you were curious, my non-invention hobbies include uh, cars and also reselling uh, coins, stamps, Hot Wheels, all little collectible stuff like that. As you can see, I bought all these here. Over here is a little stamp collection I bought that I'm going to resell. All that stuff there. And I'm also into Japanese cars like my own Toyota that I'm currently modifying, which I'll probably show you right now. So here you go, quickly before I go off to school. This is my car, 2005 Toyota Corolla XRS. Did a bit of modifications. Uh, a mesh grill, double red horns, hard to see in the shadow. There you go, kind of thing. Black all around. I got some white rims. Little spin design rims, whatever you see there. Aftermarket antenna, aftermarket tail lights. I debadged it except for the XRS, of course. It's very dirty right now. License plate covers. Uh, the previous owner put on that tip there. These stock Corollas have the uh, body kits with the skirts all around them. So if you're into cars, this is probably pretty interesting. But if you aren't, and this is probably quite boring. And the interior, I did it myself, it's red. Six speed manual, 200 horsepower engine, so not, not that bad. I'm just gonna are losing. And so yeah, there's that, and time for me to go to school. Well here we are, I just got to my school. There it is over there. Uh, the knowledge is C, so if there is something cool, I'll show you guys, but if not, I'll, uh, I'll see you all on my break. So I'm back from school, there's my school again, it's just after 11 and just about to leave here and you have no idea what car I saw in the parking lot, let me go show you. So my dream car that I'm hoping to buy soon, it is a probably around a 1993 to 95 Toyota Supra, I'm talking to the guy it's a non-turbo but still very cool, quick walk around. There you go guys. 
now that I'm on my break, I have a few hours off, so I'm going to hit up LA Fitness, got my gym bag in the back, and probably going to do some back and shoulders. See you in a sec. Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym, and just after noon now, and time for lunch, so I'm having some chicken, beans, and vegetables. Yum, yum. Hey guys, I'm Mentor 719 here, and just finished lunch. Sorry, manual car. And now we're headed to the store to get some YouTube supplies. Catch up with you when I get there. Here we are at my local surplus store. And so I'm gonna go inside now and see what I can see. Hey guys, check it out. This is the science type aisle. They have lots of little test tube things. Drill bits. Beakers. Very cool store. Lots of corks I might use in future videos. Thermometers, magnifying glasses, you name it. But what I need for my next product is project just down here. Probably the world's biggest test tube. How much is it? $1.49, oh, I'm buying it. Here we are guys, back to my school. Got a few more hours of classes. There's my school and parking lot. See you in a bit. So it's now 6.20, just got home from school and something funny I wanna show you guys. So I'm making supper here. Made myself a Caesar salad. And I also bought these nice and cheap baked beans with pork. With pork. Open the can into this bowl. And I'm looking through it and the entire can. Here's the with pork or whatever it is. Just thought you guys should know. This is garbage. It's now 7.30 and I just got back from picking up this nice five drawer plastic stand. These are quite expensive so I got this one off Kijiji, like the Canadian Craigslist, for a solid 15 bucks. Let's fill them up. There he is, all filled up in place. I put some of those stamps I've been selling. And then the key for you guys, all my YouTube supplies, pressure gauges, valves, old containers, cameras, more ball valves, corks, you know, all the good stuff, a few lasers and stuff in there. Any electrical stuff here, light bulbs, broken stuff, wires, motors. You name it, that's where I'm holding that. Now, I was, I was gonna make a YouTube video for you guys tonight, but it's already 7.30, and I have lots of calculus, physics, all the engineering class homework. So, basically from now till bed, I'll be doing a few hours of homework. So I'm probably gonna stop the vlog now, so thanks for watching if you stuck around the entire thing. Pretty busy day today, but I try and put too much on my plate most of the time, so whatever. But, uh, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little vlog I showed you guys today. Um, comment down below if you want more or if you like this one or whatever. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.